Oh, straight ahead, next to the left of that smoke. Left of the smoke, top of the hill. Yeah, I see him, I see him. We got a second tank on the left side of the smoke. It's a ricocheting, the ricocheting. We're not taking any damage. Oh, that one's the ricocheting. That one missed us. I can't tell. Is he dead? No, he's still alive. No, he's not dead. He's still standing. I can't. I don't know if you're hitting him or not. Yeah, it's weird because I'm aiming right at him, but I don't see any explosion. He might. Oh, yeah, there we go. He's dead. Yeah, there we are. Those of you that don't know what the Honest Opinion series is, it's basically me playing alphas or betas and telling you what I thought. Bear in mind that these games aren't finished yet, so don't take this as the final product. So if anybody's watched my previous Honest Opinion video on Hell Let Loose, then you should know the optimization was actually pretty bad when it came to the explosions from the commander role. Out of all the betas and alphas that I have actually played, I've never felt such a drop off in FPS playing this game before. So they added in the commander, and one of his abilities is to bombard anything on the map in like a line formation. Hey, cover guys. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, it almost killed me. Oh my god, that was too close. And every time that it happened, it would tank my FPS. Like, oh my god! Well, in the video, I had said that I believe in the developers because, for the most part, they seem to be very good when it comes to optimization. I had stated that this is actually the first time that I've actually felt anything significantly bad when it comes to major FPS drops. Because in this next beta, beta 3, that is, they completely fixed it. Like there was very minor, very minor drops in FPS, maybe like two or three, at least for me. I don't know how anybody else fared. My specs are up on the screen for you guys to see. But for the most part that I played throughout beta three, the optimization stayed pretty stable. The only issue that I really had with it is that there was a lot of glitches, nothing game breaking, but just a lot of glitches and desync issues. So yeah, tanks just literally flinging off into the air. I couldn't tell if that was actually just on my end or if that was happening in game because sometimes when that would happen, not a lot of people would seem to really talk about it. It's as if I'm like seeing a ghost and I'm the only one that's actually seeing it while everybody's just, you know, going about their business. Sometimes people would see the tanks flying off, other times they wouldn't, which is really weird. Like, am I the crazy one? I don't know. There would also be soldiers that are invisible. There was some lag here and there, but nothing too, at least I've got reports from other players that there was actually lag for them, but I don't think I actually felt it. I think it was just mostly the desync that was happening. There was also soldiers that were like running and actually hitting a hedgerow and still running into the hedgerow. I saw that multiple times it's kind of hard to tell who's friendly if they're not on your squad like hell let loose should adopt the system where if you look at somebody for like a split second and you see the name tag pop up because i've had some trouble accidentally killing friendlies now people are going to tell me to check my map when you don't know if it's a friendly or not but to that i say well the map needs to be zoomed in when i actually look at it because it shows off the entire map instead of just where i am so when there's enemies in front of me i have to open up the map and zoom in 
in really fast to see if that's a friendly or not. Let's hit, let's hit Sunken. Wow, oh, man, I can see your fucking name tag. And it doesn't stay like that when I look back at it, and that just takes too long. I didn't kill too many times because I had to second guess a lot, but there's like one German guy, the MG42 guy that looks a lot like an American just from a distance. Like you have to like really like look at him. There are still missing mechanics. Vaulting, climbing, and lean are the big three that I've been asking for for a while now. And they said that they're going to be adding them in, and I believe them, but hopefully they get them implemented before their early access date, which I believe is June 6th. They're still missing a bunch of vehicles like trucks the other tanks for the americans and the germans and the artillery vehicles they still need to add building materials like fortifications and all that stuff so th the game has a long way to go still throughout the time that i was playing there were a lot of people that were commenting about the underwhelming sounds that are in hell let loose and they would compare it to postscriptum sounds while i agree that the sounds aren't up to par as postscriptums i would argue that in game development most game companies would focus on optimizing their games and making sure that their animations look good you know just making sure that the game actually runs well and then the sound always comes last postscriptum might have good sound but the game just runs like ass at least on my pc i don't know about yours and if i'm not mistaken all the gun sounds that are actually in hell let loose are all placeholders as far as i know so they're gonna change up somewhere in the near future hopefully but aside from that, St. Mary Dumont looks as beautiful as when I played it back in the alpha, with some new changes to the landscape and new additions like houses and farms. St. Mary Dumont is still my favorite map out of the two that I have played, and even more so with all the little additions that they added in details. My only biggest problem that I had with St. Mary Dumont back then and now is how much of a waste the town is. It's such a gorgeous looking town, but it's such a missed opportunity to have a big fight in because it's literally at the ass end of the map so we never truly get to have an actual battle in the town of saint mary de mont until basically the game is over so just big big missed opportunity so i didn't talk about this in the previous hell let loose honest opinion video because i didn't know how it worked but the commander also has another ability where you can call supplies to any location so that squads can actually place down a garrison those of you that don't know what a garrison is is basically a spawn point for the entire team these supply drops come in from a airplane and the supplies are extremely useful when you're trying to push it on points or if you want to set up ATs the possibilities are endless I could imagine a game mode where there's fog on the map and they won't be able to supply drop to anything so it's going to be harder on the infantry troops to push up and stuff that would actually be an interesting game mode more hardcore I guess the only downside is that the enemy can actually see the airplane that's going overhead and they could also see the parachute coming down so they can pinpoint your location so if they see that they might just bombard you with freaking arty or go over there and take it over but i ended up calling in these supplies like a lot throughout the time that i actually played the third beta i only played about eight hours of the beta i would have played more but i was actually hanging out with my family most of the time so i i missed a lot of it but from what i played i really liked what was going on for the most part overall i had a blast on the saint mary dumont map in this beta the hurt game forest was also featured but obviously i still preferred saint mary dumont but those are just my thoughts what are yours did you like saint mary dumont let me know down in the comments. Alright, well, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye